Greetings and salutations, all you spooky nostalgic lovers out there. Let's talk about what is considered to be a pinnacle of every 90s kid's childhood. Goosebumps. Those spooky, scary stories that we all used to read in the library while recess was going. These books kept us on the edge of our seats and made us wet our pants in fear. Well, of course, to a kid. Then there was the TV show. Well, not really as effective as the actual books. In fact, it was pretty much cheesy Canadian TV shows, but I don't blame you, Canada. I love you. So naturally, with all this Goosebump fame coming out, you'd think they would have made a movie about this sooner. Well, they took their sweet old time. And what we got? Well, let me explain. The movie starts off with a kid named Zack who just moved into Madison County, Delaware. Hi, I'm in Delaware. While moving in, he meets a cute girl named Hannah who lives right next door, who just happens to be the daughter of one of the most spookiest people ever, Jack Black! No, he plays R.L. Stein in this movie. After spending some time with this girl, he wants to get to know her better, but he's also suspicious of her dad. So he starts to investigate R.L. Stein's house with his best friend Champ. <laughs> yes, I'm dead serious, his name is Champ. Only to discover the manuscript for every single Goosebump book ever written. Oh boy, what shenanigans could possibly happen now? He opens up one of the manuscripts which happens to be the Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. And what do you know, the Abominable Snowman comes to life. If you die in the book, you die for real! And then, one by one, R.L. Stein's creepy creatures start coming to life and start wreaking havoc all over the town, running amok! amok, 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 amok. And now it's up to the kids and R.L. Stein to get away from the monsters and find a way to put them back in the pages where they belong. And of course, I dare not give away any ending in any Goosebumps media. So let's analyze this. What did Roshi think of this movie? Actually, it's not that bad. I actually thought this was going to be a lot worse, hence the ending to my last review. But of course, this isn't a masterpiece either. It's just a fun, cheesy kids movie. And that's what the Goosebumps books were. Fun, cheesy kid stuff. The acting is pretty decent, the writing is really good, and some of the monsters do depict some really creepy imagery. But of course, there were some bad things. For one thing, the writing can get a little too cheesy, even by Goosebumps standards. And you know what, I really hate to say this because he's one of my favorite actors of all time, but Jack Black could have been a little better. I mean, he put on a fake accent and everything. When I was younger, I created my own friends. Monsters. Demons. To terrorize my neighborhood and all the kids that made fun of me. And they became real to me. And then one day, they actually became real. It's R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein doesn't have an accent, at least to my knowledge. Plus, this movie kind of seemed a little oddly paced. I mean, it was good enough, it wasn't too rushed, but then again, it wasn't rushed enough, you know? But all in all, this is just a good, cheesy, creepy family film. If you like the Goosebumps books and the Goosebumps TV show, you'll probably like this movie. If not, well, oh well. But from my point of view, I actually really liked it. So, Roshi gives this movie a 7 out of 10. Well, thank you guys for watching my latest real review. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you'll excuse me, there's something that I've always wanted to do. I know you think you're slick. I know you think you're smart. But baby, you got nothing on me. I am finally going to do what people have been wanting to do for years. Coming at ya! Good grief. Next time, the Peanuts movie.